Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello, hello. You listen to me? Yes, for sure. Good okay. Evening. Hey, good evening. Welcome to everyone. Uh, this is uh, Teacher William. It's actually a great pleasure to have you here. Getting ready to learn English and match my or skills because it's very important all the time trying to improve, especially different areas of English. So welcome to all of you. There are some students that actually are joining us right now in this class. And also we have the opportunity to go beyond or or activities and topics and different things because we're in advanced one. And uh, we we hope to learn a lot in um, in our English classes. So so tell me, how are you today? How have you been? Doing good. Hello, 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 teacher. Hi, welcome. Hello. Osman, thank right? You, thank you, thank you. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Thanks for asking. And I'm uh, working and getting getting the doing the best right now. And what about you? How was your day? Okay, my day was uh, so easy. So easy. Yes. Okay, uh, you, ha you had a good time, definitely. Yes, yes. Did, yes. It, did it affect the rains or you know the situations related to weather? For for the moment in my in my in my city in my job uh, there is no problem about the raining. I I think maybe tomorrow. Uh, uh, how do you say? Uh, maybe will be pro will be a problem. Okay, rain rain rains will will be totally different to this day because there are some places here in the country that it didn't rain, so it's good. But let's see tomorrow how the weather changes or everything. And um, we are alert by it, but anyway. Okay, so it's a good chance to, uh, to be here. There are some other, other students who are right now joining uh, the class. And also, as I said before, we had the opportunity to learn English. This is what I love. I, I feel really encouraged because I know that it's really important to take this time to practice, to practice, maximize skills, working and uh, participating actively. It's not the same thing we are like uh, paying attention in class, participating is really important. There are some important aspects that I would like to highlight in this class, especially because we are in the process uh, to learn. So let's see, we, we have more students right now. And we, we're, gonna, we're going to, well, first of all, congratulations uh, because you have been here on time. You know, being punctual is very important. Um, I know that some of you have some challenging time because you work, you have to join the class after work. And um, you have been tired because of the day you're doing different activities, but it's good. You can see the sacrifice. At the end, every sacrifice has a reward, and we have to focus about that. And always I have said, nothing is easy. If you work so hard, if you sacrifice and maximize your potential, you will go beyond your expectations. So we have uh, great students here, and uh, welcome to all of you. We are 15 right now. And let's start. Um, I just I'm going to give you some important information for this course. And I just want to ask you, are you ready? Yes. Okay. First of all, I, before starting this uh, program, I, we have some important um, aspects that we had to follow at the beginning of this class and to make sure that we comprehend these points and also um, try to fulfill some requirements given by the Insofort, in that case, an English Corporativo. Oh, can you see my presentation now? Yes. Okay, yes. much yes. better. So in this case, we're, gonna, we're going to explain in Spanish this time um, because information is in Spanish and we need to make sure that all of, all of, all of the things here can be understandable and also we have a clear, you know, points in this in this course. Well, bien, vamos a iniciar. Eh, vamos a presentar algunos puntos importantes. Well, first of all, I just I want to introduce myself. My name is uh, William Garcia. You can call me Teacher William or David or Mr. Garcia. I feel very comfortable, right? As uh, part de la academia de la formación académica, pues eh, trabajo en la parte didáctica y planificación. English uh, intermedio nativo is we have you no know, the references about English. Um, Regal Internationals, I have been working for around two years with the um, Insofor en English Corporativo. Hemos estado trabajando ya por un par de años eh, siempre en los programas de English para el trabajo, que es muy importante. 
y he, hemos visto mucho avance de muchos estudiantes que les, les hemos visto niveles pequeños, uh, básicos, intermedios, hasta nivel avanzado y se ha visto el progreso y todo depende del estudiante. Entonces, bueno, comentarles que ya estoy, bueno, tengo que actualizar esta parte. Eh, ya tengo el rol de 17 años de, de dar clases de, de idioma inglés, ya tenemos un buen rato. El rol de 17 años en el proceso de enseñanza y ayudar a los estudiantes a que puedan facilitar lo que es el idioma inglés. Creo que es algo muy importante y la mayor satisfacción es que los estudiantes puedan aprender el idioma de la mejor manera y puedan desarrollar eh, su potencial, porque ese es el objetivo que ustedes aprendan el idioma y puedan darle uso en sus actividades cotidianas, ya sea entretenimiento, trabajo, oportunidades, etc. También trabajo en la parte de traducción e interpretación también del idioma inglés, eso es importante. Eh, tú llegas a una escala en la que puedes ser un traductor y también un intérprete. Entonces, como parte de ese proceso, eh, también he sido facilitador en lo que es eh, de idioma inglés desde 2020 con inglés corporativo e Insafor. Así que eso pues es para mí es una mayor satisfacción, ya que hemos tenido la oportunidad de, de acompañar al estudiantado a que sigan aprendiendo y mejorando lo que es el idioma. Bueno, actualmente estoy, eh, tengo dos carreras universitarias, tengo la parte de la especialidad como docente, como docente de idioma inglés, y luego eh, la licenciatura en idioma inglés. Entonces, eh, eso pues es un proceso que vamos aprendiendo. Imagínense, tengo bastante tiempo, pero el idioma inglés es un idioma muy completo, muy interesante y nunca dejamos de aprender. Siempre estamos aprendiendo constantemente el idioma. Así como nosotros hablamos el español, también el inglés tiene que ser hablado. Y muchos de los retos que tenemos en el país es de que nosotros hablamos español todo el tiempo. Entonces, eh, muchos dirán, bueno, entonces, ¿en qué momento voy a practicar inglés si todo el mundo habla español? Pero es de buscar las oportunidades, la práctica, los recursos. Hay mucho recurso tecnológico las clases, eh, los compañeros en los cuales usted puede practicar inglés y eso le va a ayudar mucho a mejorar lo que es el idioma eso es algo bien importante bueno, algunas, algunos puntos importantes que destacar es que es necesario obtener el 80% en su promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder eh, completar el curso satisfactoriamente obviamente que nosotros vamos aspirando a más ¿verdad? más de eso, ya que la idea es utilizar todos los recursos que tenemos acá y poder trabajar para poder aprender y mejorar eh, lo que es el idioma. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma, ya se las mostraré a continuación, eh, y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase. Eh, ¿Por qué es importante hacer esto? Porque yo he visto un contenido ahora, por ejemplo, de Monster Steroid, lo que es Perkin Junctions, es un tema muy interesante cuando hablamos de algunas de combinación de palabras de Perkin Junctions, y entonces hemos visto el tema y estamos frescos, entonces digo yo, bueno, I understood the topic, So I just want to go to the platform. So I'm going to try to work with these activities. You go on there and also you can also check the exercises and you can work with that. Entonces usted iba viendo y dice, bueno, entonces tengo que avanzar en este ejercicio porque ya estoy fresco, ya vi este tema y ya lo entiendo. Because if you move on to the next day or try two or three days later, um, the topics, you know, perhaps you will doubt about it and you will have some difficulties depending, right? Depending on the students and also the time that they dedicate for learning. Um, todas las tareas y la, de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completadas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente entonces como sabemos Insafor está monitoreando constantemente eh, el trabajo que se está realizando eh, ya que ese es el, el objetivo que los estudiantes puedan aprovechar todas las clases y puedan eh, utilizar los recursos y poder practicar para tener eh, asegurado un aprendizaje constante. Eh, material de apoyo será compartido a criterio del profesor en formato digital. En este caso, yo les compartí por ahí la plataforma. Bueno, por el, por el, por el medio de WhatsApp, les compartí la presentación que, la que vamos a estar trabajando. Y usted la puede revisar también el manual, que es de, de vital importancia que usted tenga el manual. Lo puede descargar también para que le pueda servir y vaya adelantando contenidos, vaya repasando. Eh, así sucesivamente eh, tenemos tareas y evaluaciones eh, quiero compartirles por acá por ejemplo tenemos lo que son actividades eh, esto se lo voy a compartir eh, en esta presentación permítanme bueno ya se las muestro esta y esto es algo importante que quiero que, que podamos destacar 
como vamos a estar acá eh, trabajando durante este, este periodo, este nivel, es importante siempre tener el botón de silencio, siempre y cuando no vayamos a participar, ya que posiblemente en, en sus hogares o donde estén en el, en el entorno haya mucho ruido y, pues, y posiblemente afecte la concentración o el trabajo que se está realizando, entonces es importante eso. Eh, también la lista de asistencia, vamos a estar constantemente pasando asistencia dos veces. Eh, tener la cámara encendida es uno de los requisitos importantes por Insafor, ya que ellos monitorean eh, las clases y entonces tiene que estar el estudiante ahí presente, ya que eh, es de bastante importancia para ellos. Eh, participación activa, es importante estar activos, participar en clase, no tenga miedo, enciende su micrófono y hable, porque la mejor manera de aprender un idioma o de poder desarrollarlo a este nivel, que es nivel avanzado, es hablándolo. Practicing, you know, talking in the class, no matter if you made mistakes, no matter if you have some doubts about the topics or you, you don't know if you're pronouncing good or not, you had an opportunity to do that one, just like open up the microphone and try it and practice. The goal is that we are learning here is so no, no matter if you made mistakes or not in the process. Um, the use of chats is really important. We have to use chats. So you can also, I would just want to say that something that just have a question. So you can also use the chat. You know, you can type a question or a word or something that we can use the chat to. Podemos usar el chat también acá. Eh, lo podemos estar usando eh, para alguna palabra, alguna duda, pues también lo podemos hacer. Siempre eh, mantener respeto eh, de, de las cosas que, pues, que tenemos en las clases y de todo eso. Es importante que podamos ver esa parte. Eh, el respeto en todas las, de todos los puntos que nosotros eh, nos refiramos dentro de la clase. Entonces, es necesario que podamos eh, tomar esos, esas partes, ya que estamos aquí para aprender. Entonces, sí es necesario que lo podamos visualizar. En el siguiente, sorry, let me see. One second, please. It's because I have an other presentation too, and I just want to share with you right now this one. Let's see. Okay, it's, it's exactly this one that I want to share with you. Okay, can you see? Can you see my presentation now? Yes. 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 Thank, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Entonces, la asistencia al 100% de las clases, como les digo, es importante su asistencia. Mientras ustedes están constantemente, su aprendizaje es mucho más rápido y más efectivo. Se los digo por experiencia, 17 años de dar clases y vamos por más, así que vamos por más. Entonces, eh, es importante eh, ver esos aspectos. Cumplir con los, eh, en este caso, con las dos horas clase que nosotros tenemos eh, por cada sesión. La asistencia se tomará en dos ocasiones, eh, puede ser un ejemplo 8.20 y la otra puede ser 9.40 pm. Entonces, habrán dos momentos donde se va a pasar la asistencia. Se tomará como válida al escuchar al participante decir presente y tener la cámara encendida. Entonces, eso es importante que usted lo pueda considerar en nuestro proceso de las clases. Entonces, sí, necesito eso, que lo podamos eh, llevar a cabo. Eh, también tenemos uh, sesiones uno a uno disponibles. Cada participante será asignado 10 minutos al finalizar cada clase para aclarar dudas con su facilitador y permisos eh, en este caso, otro punto importante es eso, ¿verdad? que va a haber un espacio donde tomaremos eh, para que ustedes puedan eh, reunirse conmigo y si tienen alguna consulta, alguna duda, teacher, mira, tengo una duda. Eh, este tema que vimos, yo no lo entendí. Um, it was not clear to me and I just want to have a feedback about a topic so you can help me with that. O perhaps, and I just, I would like to um, focus about one skill, so can you help me with that? So I'm just going to help you with this part. También este otro punto importante es también los permisos. No es disponible los permisos. Eh, eh, para Insafor no hay permisos. Bueno, como usted, la mayoría de ustedes ha estado en este programa, entonces eh, no, no validan los permisos. ¿verdad? Para que usted lo pueda tomar en cuenta, que me diga, mire, fíjese que este día yo tengo una actividad, entonces yo no voy a poder ir a clase. Sí nos puede informar para que estemos pendientes de cualquier consulta o algo, pero Insafor no nos da ese espacio como para para dar permisos. Entonces, esos serían como lo, los puntos importantes a destacar eh, dentro de nuestro proceso. Ahí vemos eh, las tareas y evaluaciones. Tenemos eh, alrededor de cinco semanas. 
La semana 1 estaremos trabajando lo que es la sección 1. En esta sección 1 estaremos trabajando lo que es, por decirlo así, la unidad eh, con los diferentes temas que vayamos estudiando. El material es muy interesante, es muy avanzado y nos va a servir bastante para reforzar. La semana 2 y 3 estaremos estudiando lo que es la sección número 2 y estaremos realizando una prueba que se llama Midterm que abarca lo que son la, la sección 1 y 2 para que usted pueda estudiar y pueda realizar esta prueba de Midterm en la semana 2 y 3. Es importante esto, esta parte. Luego tenemos la semana 4, estaremos estudiando lo que es la sección 3 de nuestro material y la semana 5 estaremos trabajando la sección 4 y el examen final. Entonces, así sería en estas evaluaciones. En cada clase estaremos actualizando las actividades correspondientes a la semana. Yo les iré diciendo, miren, esta semana, y acuérdense, ya vamos a tener el examen. Hoy vamos a, tener este, vamos a hacer cambio de, de semana. Entonces, iremos avanzando en esto para que lo podamos tomar en cuenta. Así que eh, quiero mostrarles también lo que es la plataforma. Nosotros estamos trabajando también con una plataforma eh, que es la que está a continuación. Let me show you here. Es this one. La plataforma con la que estaremos realizando los diferentes ejercicios. Usted entra a la plataforma, así como se les ha enviado un correo con la información general del curso, el enlace, y igual también para que se pueda acceder a la plataforma. Aquí vemos el primer tema que estudiaremos este día, que se llama Dinero y Servicio de Conferencia, el de Perkins Junctions. Eh, obviamente estaremos trabajando con esta información y usted ve que hay una tarea. Entonces, eh, vemos acá una tarea y dice, bueno, hay una serie de, de preguntas que están acá, de ejercicios de opción múltiple. Ahí vemos My Sister uh, are bookworms. Entonces, usted tiene que elegir la mejor opción Obviamente que esto es después de cada clase que usted ha tenido para, para decir, bueno, esto, este tema lo vi, entonces ahora voy a hacer el ejercicio. Entonces es recomendable que al final de cada clase usted pueda hacer el ejercicio. Eh, son bastante prácticos, eh, cortos y sencillos. Y puede ir adelantando también si usted quiere. Eh, más sin embargo, también es importante destacar los contenidos que vayamos estudiando. Entonces aquí usted puede ver la plataforma y ahí están eh, cada una de las actividades que iremos viendo posteriormente. Eh, tareas, recursos, los temas, etc. A un costado derecho, eh, tengo acá el manual, el Student Manual A1. Le damos eh, clic y usted automáticamente puede descargar lo que es el documento, eh, que es el manual con el que estaremos trabajando en las clases. Yo por lo menos acá lo tengo, lo descargo. Y ahí vemos el manual. Eh, aquí vemos el tema. You know, Model 1, National English for Work Program in Salvador. And we have different uh, general information about uh, the four the, the units that will be studying in the process. So you can check here on the topics. Look at this. Entonces, esto pues nos va a servir ahí para poder eh, trabajar esa parte. Eso es importante. Um, no sé si alguien tenga alguna consulta pues la iremos trabajando durante el desarrollo de las clases. Yes, teacher. Ya. Yeah. Uh, I need the last day of the of the module because human the human resource uh, asks ask me the duración. Yeah, the, yeah. In that case, I, I also I can update that one in the in the WhatsApp group if you want to, because we're talking about specifically five weeks. So let me check the last date of class and I'm just going to highlight it in the WhatsApp group. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? No. No more questions. So are we ready to start? Do we start a class now? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's go then. So remember, no Spanish. Spanish won't be allowed right here in this class. 
And uh, the most important, if you have any questions or doubt, don't hesitate to ask because we're going to try the opportunity to improve and maximize your English skills. Well, welcome to um, the, the first class right now after giving some instructions in general related to the program and also the systems. We have the, the course English for Work program, Advanced English 1, Model 1, Section 1, and we have the first video conference. The topic that we will develop right here is per conjunctions, but at the same time, the general uh, topic of the unit is called uh, continuing professional development. This is especially uh, when we talk about the professionalism, so when we talk about any special projections. We are professionals or we have a specific career or we are working in one specific area. The most important thing is that most of the time we try to uh, maximize to, you know, our capacity and you know, be updating about what we are doing and what we are learning and don't stop because learning is a progress. It's all the time we have to do that. So let's introduce the objectives about this um, unit, about this course. I need a volunteer for helping me to read it. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read the goal for this class? Uh, can I? Of course, Raphael, go ahead. Okay, um, objectives. Describe benefits of promoting professional development in a company. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Before starting, I just want to ask you, what do you understand, guys, about the uh, about this objective? What, what comes into your mind? Because it's really important um, to promote a, a personal development because sometimes people are attached about something specifically. They graduated or they got experience about something, but they just like, they get a stock. And also we have to continue learning. We have to continue studying maximize your knowledge that is something important that we have to take. So what, what do you understand about this objective? What comes into your mind? In my, can I teacher? Of course. In my personal opinion, I, th I think that the benefit is when you increase your knowledge or your skill, this is the benefit in of promoting in professional development in a company, I think. Exactly, and you become very valuable because you are experienced about something specifically. You don't stop, you don't stop, like you keep it up. And also that can help you in, in the company. You can give a little bit more about what you know and people trust you because you know, and that's something good. Thank you so much, Mirna, right? Yes, I'm oh. Mirna. Okay, much better. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, cool. Someone else would like to share about the, um, this objective. Any other opinion? Um, I, I have a short opinion, teacher. Excellent. Uh, I think uh, the, the benefits uh, for the employees is very good. Uh, uh, but uh, also, uh, the company ha uh, ha has benefits too because the person uh, that has a promotion professional can be a good job. Good, good job. Uh, good, uh, I don't know how do you say uh, compliance. Uh, good, good, good compliance. Yes, because the people knows better to how to do the uh, the task. Yeah, you uh, become. Uh, um, you become valuable to, and about what you're doing in a job so people can uh, trust about what you do. And also, um, because we're talking about promoting professional development, but at the same time, some people can be promoted to, to have a better, a better position in a company. Imagine that you get on a specific position in a job and you're like, you know what? You know, because we have seen your progress, you have seen your uh, growing your knowledge, your, your, um, in, a, in a special training. So we decided to promote you for a better position in the company. Thank you so much. Also, people can have better salaries, better expectations, uh, better opportunities inside the company. So you're growing in the company. That's something good. You, you grow yourself, and also at the same time, you can support the company. 
And um, it's something that perhaps we have to focus, especially when we are uh, trying to promote our professional development. So at the same time, it could be challenging, but also rewarding. So it's something that we just um, have to focus. That's why this topic is very interesting. Well, look at this one. We have some vocabulary. Who wants to help me to read it? Volunteer. Me, teacher. Can okay, I... thank you. Okay, it... vocabulary. <laughs> okay, vocabulary. Terms related to continued professional development. Uh, for example, career path, self-directed, learning, top-up, skills, point of different, different, different nation, <laughs> employee satisfaction, pay off, turnover, costs, et cetera. Exactly, differentiation. Yeah, that's right. So we have the, some important vocabulary that we, that we will use uh, in this class. So we had to know the terms about each one. And uh, this vocabulary represents uh, something interesting in the company, uh, company vocabulary. Like uh, you can say top up skills, point of differentiation, employee satisfaction, and that's good. Uh, when we are uh, promoted, when we are encouraged inside the company, we also ha can have a, an employee satisfaction. The bosses or people who are in charge of the companies, they see your work and they say, you know what? We're really satisfied with you, what you're doing in the company, really appreciate what you do because of your effort, dedication, passion, commitment, because it's important. So that's why um, we had to, uh, you know, congratulate you in front of everybody in the company. So that is a very awesome satisfaction when uh, the boss or the CEO of the company, you know, congratulate you because of your work. You feel satisfied. You enjoy what you're doing. So we will um, develop a little bit more about this vocabulary and we go with the first task. Before we continue to the next slide, I don't know if you have any questions or comment. No? Questions, doubts? Um, I have a question, teacher. Yeah. What is it, uh, self directing? Oh, well, this is the activity for the next uh, slide. So uh, that's why I, I won't tell you the term because there is an activity that we will develop together. Yes. Okay, let's move on to the next one. And uh, well, I was I was watching the Juan Carlos Herrera. I, I was I was watching a nice background about the moon. The, the um, moon. Yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. Was, yeah, it looks very creative. I was like <laughs> checking and it's like, man, he's in the moon. That's cool. <laughs> All right. So let's move on to the next one. Well, and uh, I can tell you the terms about the following vocabulary because there is something that we have to do. And okay, one second. We have these important questions to ask. First of all, and I want you to answer the following questions. Do you usually reflect on ways you could do your job better? Sometimes we have a, a position, a better, a job position in a company for some time, for one year, two years, three years, five years, and we are experienced about what we're doing. But uh, this could be unstoppable because we also can talk about better ways. Have you thought about how can I do my job in a better way? How can I like give a plus about what I'm doing in the company? So what I want you to discuss right now is the following questions. Do you usually reflect on ways you could do your job better? Yes, teacher. I think what I can do is like try to dedicate more time to think about, be creative, or maybe I can wake up earlier and try to think about something else in the company, or I can dedicate more time, or I can support the, the, the boss. So think about these questions. Have you ever suggested management to implement a training program to improve your and your colleagues' performance? And uh, for example, we say, um, in my job, I, I can tell you one example. I'm an English teacher. I, I have around 17 years teaching English. And, uh, but sometimes in the process, because we're working all the time, full time with the students, sometimes I, I suggest, I can suggest that we, we can have a, a training about ludic activities because we, we need to remember some valuable points about teaching. We have experience, but it doesn't mean that we cannot learn 
or it doesn't mean that we cannot try it again or remember things that we know because in the process we can forget or we ignore some things that can help us to grow as teachers. So the question is, have you ever suggested management to implement a training program to improve you, your and your colleagues' performance? A leadership, that could be a good training. Have you had a leadership training? Or for example, uh, being creative in the company? Have you had a training about being creative? Um, customers management? Um, uh, for example, learning about ways of improving economy. So we have different trainings. Have you suggested that? But think about it. And the last question is, have you gotten a positive response to this? Like, yeah, okay, right now we don't have time to do this one, or maybe there is an opportunity that we can also have this training. So what people tell you, what the company tells you about something like this. So I will give you a couple of minutes to answer these questions, and it will take a short time to socialize each one. Is that okay? It, it, are the questions clear for you? Yes, Pierce, we are to thinking about the question, not in breaking room, just alone with us. Yeah, so we'll, oh, take a okay. yeah, we'll take a short time and then we will have a freedom to uh, share our ideas about these questions. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I will take a short time to um to check the attendance list, and uh, you list your name, you say present. By any chance, uh, I sent a picture of the of these questions in the WhatsApp group, so you can also check the WhatsApp group um to check the questions.
Okay, students, you listen to your name and you say present. Uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Thanks. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present to you. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal. I'm Jose. here. Thanks. Dusman uh, Atilio Serrano. Josman Atilio. It's absent. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Kevin. It's absent. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Nelson. It's absent either. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present. Present. Okay. Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Cifredo Ernesto Gomez. Present. Thanks. Um, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present. Thanks. And Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Thanks a lot. Teacher. Yes. Don't say my name. <laughs> my, my name, sorry. Uh, just um, can I have your name, please? Uh, Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Oh, uh, just give me one second. Uh, give me one second. Let me take notes about your name. One second. Okay. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, I'm just going to uh, update it, and also I will request to add you on the list. Someone else, someone else that I didn't mention. Someone else? No, all of you, right? Well, something interesting that I'm checking here in the ten list that most of the time, most of us we are men. Only two, only two women here on 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 the, on the team. So the most of you are men. Okay, I was checking that one. Something, uh, an interesting detail. All right, so let's continue. Are you ready to socialize the answers? Are you ready? Hello, hello? Yes? Oh. Yes, teacher. Okay, much better. So, well, so we're gonna take a short time to, to socialize the um the the questions with your partners so we're gonna work in a small teams but in break and bros let's see uh how many members we have right now you will have a couple of minutes to socialize the questions and then we will go back to um to the next to check the next activities the, the, what i want you to do is to talk and discuss these questions with your partners let's go Okay, for those who are here and the groups uh, are here, please um, look at your screens and also upset the invitation to be in the teams. Uh, we have here Emerson, Edwin, 
and also Jose. Um, please uh, join uh, the breakout rooms and uh, practice the questions that we have with your partners. What do you think? In my case, maybe in the first question, we usually reflect on ways you could do your, your better. Uh, I was thinking uh, maybe, uh, how do you say contratar? <laughs> Hire. 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 Ah, hire. Okay. Hire. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe to hire uh, more personal because uh, my lot of work in my job is um, I don't, we don't reach uh, all work because the work is the all all country. Uh, it's a lot of work, maybe is um, I believe uh, number one. Um, yes, I agree with you, Carlos, because when you have a lot of tax or a lot of work, you need to more or some people that help or or I don't know, or or maybe distribute the old tax in in a in a group or in a team, but maybe you can also you need a personal extra personal. I think this is this is the way that you could do you job better. Yes, for example, uh, before in my case, in my job is the circle breaker. Before uh, the circuit breaker was uh, were were less, so uh, 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 the the work uh, was um, more high quality quality hmm. because uh, well, for the reason. Uh, Mm, there was more time um, and dedicate and and a specific task. Mm -hmm. And now uh, a lot of super baker, more so station, uh, for example, El Chaparral now, Chal <laughs> mm. de Febrero, uh, Apopa, Nejapa, uh, uh, a lot of substation mm -hmm. uh, and there are many many uh, uh, circuit breakers so uh, uh, I don't I don't there isn't time uh, dedicate time dedicate mm -hmm. time as a specific task okay so in your case Carlos uh, the process are uh, Definitely. Yes. But the process is the same. Uh, with, the num with the other, have you ever uh, suggested management to implement a training program to improve your and co your colleagues' performance? Yes. I have sometimes I do that. I did that with my boss because uh, now we are implement a new system in our work and we I use so much this system and I need to improve some functions of some process and I found 
process that can be better and I suggest to my my boss how to use them and implement with my coworkers. How about you? Okay, in my case, I I have, uh, I have suggested to my boss some training program when I feel that we have some kind of weakness in a process, or when we will need to to get a new a new coworker, uh, when we have a lot of job to do, we need reinforcement so we need to to train the new people to don't make the some mistakes mm, Osman? in my case uh, i am i try i i uh, i show this in the salad uh, because it's important that actually the the new product uh, the offer the customer uh, this continue training uh, uh, in the company and the prover and the customer uh, because it's the usual usual and um, benefit the new products. For example, uh, the last week and capacitation the new product uh, the sales is the iPhone 15. This uh, is very uh, is very important the new characteristic the product. Um, the this is the ever uh, usually the the training in my cake with my my co-worker and other case is, is the for example customer service uh, actually the procedure and the characteristic the the for the the new uh, this the last month or October uh, the new for the the job in the electronic factory. Is different for the the patient, the customer, and procedure, the the factory. Then because if we, uh, I was necessary the capacity the training, the new procedure. This is the last time the training in my job. Salvador. In my case, yes, uh, I suggest um, training program for other department in in my company. Yes, yes. Uh, ac actually, we we how do you say? Estamos tratando de implementar una plataforma. We're trying to uh, promote a platform. We're trying to to work with that kind of platform. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this this platform that you try to implement is related to the to the job that you are doing, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Okay, the last question. Have you got a positive response? So, in my case, yes, I will respond. Uh, from my boss because they he liked how I can do my work and how I want to improve the process and help to other co-workers. Yeah, it's similar. <laughs> I got in a positive responsibly because that work is necessary, the attitude positive. And whole time, 
in my case is Gonzalez. It's important the attitude every day, every day. Okay, yeah. So if you're working on sales, is the um, something that you have to innovate, try to attract the customer's attention, right? So that, for example, for for customers could be a very interesting sell. Yeah. Okay, what about to go back to the main section? Congratulations for the work done. I, I could listen to your English and that's great. So we had to, you know, try all the time. So that's good. Congratulations, guys. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay, uh, we're back here. First of all, congratulations to everyone. Um, I, I could have the opportunity to listen to most of you guys in English. It sounds very interesting. Uh, we have a great advance about a language. As I told you before, one of the best way to improve is speaking is practicing, is doing, is what we are doing now in the class. All right, so I also could listen and your answer is very interesting because most of the time when we have uh, some time in the company, we have some ideas that can help to encourage, you know, people to do a great job or to have better results about what we're doing. If we're talking about sellings, constructions, about business education, depending on the area that you're working in the company, we always have to update what we are doing to have better results, resources, and also to adapt new changes about the time we have now, about the economy and different other aspects that we can also highlight. Uh, let's go to the next part. We continue with the class. And this is the next part that we are going to focus about vocabulary. It says go online to find out more about the key terms in these lessons. So we have different words and I want you to take a short time to look for perhaps in a dictionary, in a thesaurus, uh, what could be the real meaning about each one? What's the meaning about continuing professional development? Uh, what do you understand by career path? what is self-directed learning, and what is to up skills. I want you to investigate right now, perhaps in a dictionary or in the internet, um, or online, and then write the meaning about each um, key terms about this, right? I repeat, continuing professional development, career path, self-directed learning, and taught up skills. So I will give you a couple of minutes to investigate each one, and then we will have a freedom to uh, share what we have found and also have a brainstorming about the vocabulary we have. Is that okay? Okay. Excellent. Let's go then.
Okay, so we are like checking some common terms. Just to take advantage about a time, I would like you to check the first uh, term that is continuing professional development. Um, I need a volunteer for sharing what you have uh, found or what do you understand about this term, uh, continuing professional development? So check the context and check the meaning, the term, and explain with your own words, what do you understand about the continuing professional development? Who wants to break the ice and start sharing uh, this information? Me, teacher, I can try to start. Of course. Okay. Uh, uh, I understand about this term. Uh, is uh, for example, being involved in uh, professional training or giving a presentation at the conference, for example, uh, is a, a way of the formal education, going a formal course or uh, any things. Maybe. Okay, thank you so much, Emerson. I really appreciate your comment and also the definition. Okay, um, Yes, hi. In my case, I was looking for the information, so I identified that uh, we define it as CPD can mean everything from taking a training course or attending an education event to the studying for new qualification or learning new aspects of a job. Okay, uh, thank you so much. And um, it's a good definition about uh, the CPD. Yes, thank you. Um, someone else? Yes, teacher, I found that is CPD, as uh, Jose Carlos said, is uh, encourage looking forward and identifying opportunities to learn something new or refresh something uh, existing in your, maybe in your experience. Is for improve your skill, so well, and keep, keep um, updating in, in something in, in your job, maybe. Exactly. Thank you so much. Yes, as you mentioned before, guys, um, I'm just going to summarize what you have to, what you have said with the any type of learning that we acquire from the process, from a training, from a workshop. This learning we experienced can help us to increase our knowledge about what we're doing. If we have a position in a company, we have experience about what we are doing. But at the same time, you increase your knowledge. At the end, it's going to help you to give you more experience uh, of a subject area of role. Exactly. So that you gave a very interesting definition about continuing professional development. Let's check the second one. That is a career path. What do you get from that um, definition? What was the definition uh, from this term? Well, a uh, career path uh, can be defined as a series of jobs of jobs that lead you closer to your career goals and vision for life. Okay, that was a great definition. A uh, series of jobs or activities that you develop in a in a specific uh, career. Right, that's uh, something interesting. Thank you so much. And um, someone else would like to add more details about career path? Uh, career path is when you add in your curriculum and your curriculum detail that the job that you're, you are doing in the past, for example, if you are a, a teacher, for example, then, or assistant or a coordinator, or is the 
when you add the the I understand that career part that when you add the the position that I that you do in, that that you did. Or you are currently doing in a job too. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. That's okay. I, I was I was reading an article that say that a career pass can be defined as a long term that includes specific step or task that help you to advance to apply for a new occupation or a new role. And also I identify that there are many other types or career path, career path organizational and career and personal career path, and there are other ones. I lose the, the article, but but I find any uh, information additional. And you you found uh, some additional information. Okay. Yeah. That that's okay. Thank you so much, uh, Jose. Yeah. And specifically, yes, as you mentioned, uh, when we're talking about career path, is what we do. Um, well, we do have some specific task or activities that we need to manage. And uh, when we know what to do in a company in a in a position we have. It's easier because the, we are doing that one. For example, an engineer has to work in areas of engineering, about numbers, organization, logistic, everything that has to be done specifically for this job. And that's what we call a career path. For example, a doctor, what's the function of a doctor? Doctors have an, some specific task, things they have to do to protect and make sure the security and the health of patients, for example. So that's what we call a career path. A great job. Let's check the next one, what we call self-directed learning. What do you get from this term? What information could you identify about this part? Yes, uh, self-directed learning. Mm, teacher, maybe, uh, I don't yes. know how to say autodidacta. Uh, uh, autodidactic? Yeah, autodidacta, yeah, maybe. Mm. Exactly. Self learning. Um, someone else? To... Maybe when you are perseverance. A uh, perseverance. 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 Mm -hmm. About something you want to reach. When you're perseverant about something, yeah, drink. something you want to learn, or you are perseverance, and for example, in my case, in English, <laughs> okay. I try to, yeah, I try to 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 learn English, and this is a perseverance when you try to 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 learn something for your yourself. <laughs> exactly, that's okay. That's why you're here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. What else? It is, for example, when the individual uh, shoes uh, uh, what uh, they um, he wants to to learn, for example, um, for achieve uh, the 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 goals that he definitely. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. Yes, we can summarize like self-directed learning as the uh, you mentioned before. We're talking about autodidactic. When we are in a, in a position in a company, perhaps we can have a good preparation, we have knowledge, but sometimes it's not enough. We have to go beyond what we know and study by ourselves. Prepare because becoming aware and of and managing one's own process of learning so I can learn, I can investigate about something or some specific areas. In our companies, we so, sometimes we have some positions 
or we have some specific tasks that we had to develop. Mm -hmm. But we are not most of the time experts or everything, but what we had to do is to investigate, looking for information, interview people that can help us to give us a plus. And uh, this is a personal process to learn. Don't expect that the company send you to a training or a workshop to learn. You can do it by yourself too. You can learn and you also that can help you. This learning um, can help you to do a better job in a company. So we don't have to forget that one. We don't have to stay with what we know uh, because I, that's what I know. I, I won't do anything else. You have to go beyond, investigate, dedicate time for this one. If you are more ready, more prepared, you will have better results. Okay, look at the next one. The last, top-up skills. What about top-up skills? And uh, what do you get from this? And top-up skills. I understand, teacher, the top-up skill when you need to to study and a specific um, not topic, a specific area that you need to improve in your in your job. For example, if you if you are a industrial engineer, uh, you maybe if you work in a supply chain, for example, you need a, a a skill in supply chain. Maybe you can learn or study about supply chain. I understand in top up skill is advanced skill that you have. I understand, but I'm not sure because top up skill. I think that this top up is the is like a advanced skill that you need uh, or extra skill that you need that that you have in your job, for example. Uh, that's correct. Excellent. Any other opinions? Mm, I, I I'm sure in the concept. Uh, but uh, I think maybe uh, the stronger skills the the person or skills uh, to development. I don't know. <laughs> yes, uh, thank you so much, Carlos. Exactly, when we're talking about top up skills, are the skills that we need for a specific job position? That's what we call top up skills. For example, teachers. If you don't have knowledge to teach, you can you can know something specifically. You can know math, you can know science, but if you you don't have the skills to teach, it will be so kind of hard for students. So you you have to be very skillful. You have to be creative. You have to manage the topics that you are teaching. You have to manage the topic, the subject that you are specifically teaching. You have you have to be good planning. You have to be good organizing ideas. You have to be good organizing time. So when we talk about top up skills, are these skills needed for a specific job? That's what we call top up skills. In our jobs, we become experts when we have a lot of time to do some specific things and we have experience to do the, the same things all the time, having important results or success. That's what we call top up skills. So I think most of us, we have experience about what we do in our jobs. Those are the key terms that we need to know and focus, especially in a job. Any other comments before moving on to the next slide? Well, I think the top skills, uh... Uh, there are the skills, for example, mathematics, physics, uh, the all skills you need to make your job or the skills you need in a specific occupation. Exactly. Uh, for example, I was listening in one of the breakup rooms, one a student that told us that, that he had to focus on selling. But if you are not good convincing people, you cannot sell. You are not good. You have to be very skillful to convince people, persuade them to sell the product or buy the product or consume the product. So depending on the area, you have to be very skillful. Excellent. Thank you so much. Well, look at the following points. And I will share with you right now uh, a link. 
And I want you to check the link for this. I'm going to share with you right now a link. And just give me one second. Okay, what I want you to do is to look, I will share it by this mean. One second here. Okay, I'm sharing you right now a link and I want you to watch this link. Uh, look at the following video and answer the following questions. What is continuing professional development? Uh, look at the ch this chat and watch the video. And then you can explain me um, in a briefly way what you understood about the video and what you understood about continuing professional development. This person will uh, go deeper about this, this topic or, and this term. Uh, do you see the link? Yes. Yes, in the chat. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's take some time to watch the video and try to understand the term. And then you can have a freedom to share a teacher. I, what I understood about the video is that the, the person or the lady told or mentioned that uh, this is related to, you can explain me that. Let's go. directors because we believe that directors should be leading by example. Directors should um, embrace
Okay, so it was a very interesting video because, you know, the person, the lady, uh, talked about some important points that perhaps many companies is necessary to, to take into account, especially when we are working uh, in based on results, about new changes, about, you know, she mentions about Cascade. But uh, what can you tell me about the video? Something that attracts your attention. Picture. Yes. Uh, the phrase I like you in the video is the continue learning because it's important a uh, whole person whole day in the in different job uh, learning and on past the informal is learning a formal is learning because the create the person uh, other opportunity that create in the uh, your career. And in the job, uh, uh, other other position, it is very important. It's very important the the set the situation over there, and and view the 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 medium as a whole person. For example, uh, internet, uh, social media, and uh, for the study is different in the day. No, no, for example, no presencial. The only permit the the academic career and aprendi for example uh, we uh, learn in english is the opportunity with uh, for we or uh, for person it's very important that this day in the modern uh, the career and technology advance is necessary to adapt to the situation for learning every day oh thank you so much Osman. i really appreciate it definitely it is important uh, and also we can take advantage about this, you know, the video and also the possibility to uh, keep on learning by ourselves and also getting opportunities to, you know, to expand our knowledge. Great job. Thanks a lot. And um, someone else that would like to share about uh, the video. Well, the... The girl said, said up something who, mm, uh, what I like. Uh, the learning is a, is a journey, is mm, it's not an event. I, I think the, the same. Uh, uh, learning, we we always learning in in our life, and it's necessary open open our eyes to to improve our um, skills. I don't know. Okay, thank you so much. Yes. Um, well, as you mentioned, uh, it's always uh, necessary to, you know, continue growing our knowledge. And also because that could be very beneficial for our job positions and also for our results. And at the same time can help the company. If everybody's ready, we could have better results. Definitely that this video um, is like encouraging us to like trying to do our best because we don't stop learning all the time we do that. Well, let's move on to the next part of this class and we have some a new vocabulary and uh, we had to go online for uh, to find out more about the key terms in these lessons. We have other terms that I want you to check. The first one is the point of differentiation, uh, soft skills uh, turned over cost and paid off. Try to identify and find the key terms, uh, what could be the meaning for each um, expressions here. And uh, I will give you a couple of minutes, specifically uh, three minutes. I'll give you three minutes to look for this information because the, the next topic, it's about grammar. We will be talking about per, uh, per conjunctions. And I need you to, to be ready for this.
Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's check the first one, and that is the point of differentiation. And there are different uh, definitions about the points of differentiation, but we're gonna try to focus about jobs. And uh, who wants to break the ice and um, socialize uh, the, the meaning or idea about the points of differentiation? Um, yes, someone? And the first concept. Correct. Point of, uh, I find out is our characteristic of a product or service that uh, that dis distinguish the other competitors. This characteristic may be unique. Maybe. Oh, thanks, Carlos. Yes, the, um, there are some specific characteristics. That, yeah, and uh, of a of a, a task, a job, activity, products, depending on what it is, could be a person, a performance, could be a product, and also and. As the employees, we have some specific uh, characteristics that make us special make us different. For example, Raphael, uh, he has some skills that are unique. So what he does in his job is, is something very important. And also the point of the differentiation is what he does, There's something different he does. For example, in, in some other jobs that we are experts about doing something specifically, and that make us be very different and distinguished about what we do. Because we have some special techniques what about soft skills? Uh, what do you get from soft skills? Someone found something related to soft skills? Maybe teacher is when you interact with others, but it's not technical skill. It's a is about yourself, for example, and, and respect others, or when you try to negotiation or resolution the conflict or problem that you have. Is this is the soft skill that you have with solve and a specific problem and your for example, on your job or on your team, empathy. Exactly, exactly, thank you so much. Definitely that are interpersonal skills. With the capacity that we have to carry on with people, to have a good connection and interaction with others, can it help us to have a better um, productive work? Because we had to work in teams to, to socialize with people, to organize, to agree with things, agree or disagree, but at the same time, walk in the same path. So definitely that the, the behavior and interpersonal skills can help uh, people uh, to work effectively in a specific task, exactly. Okay, what about turn, turnover cost? Turnover cost. Well, I understand is the expensive uh, of replacing people who leave the, the job in a determinate time. Okay, especially um, when uh, the company has to invest in employees. For example, you have some um, things you have to do outside the company, but always representing the company. The company can give, give you some bonus, uh, kind of bonuses to, for the work you do. They give you some, uh, you know, kind of turn, turn over cost. Or for example, you need to do some things and you need some money to buy some specific products or stuff. And the company can support you that money. That is the same case for those who are fired for some circumstances in the company, 
the company has to give you a compensation for the time you have been serving in the company. So are the expenses or tangible or intangible associated with replacing an employee? Especially for those who are fired in a company, they have to give you a compensation in that case. And what Sorry, teacher, I have a question in turnover cost. Is an extra cost that you have in a project, for example? Or is, is the is the extra is the extra cost that you need for some some human resource or 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 something like that? I'm 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 not clear that to never cost. I think I associate that uh, project maybe. Yeah, um, in that in that case, for example, the company has to pay the, uh, for some specific extra service of the employee. Or if the employee is fired, the company has to pay some money. And that's why it's cost, turnover cost, because the company has to pay you for a service given or for a replacement. No, specifically for the employee, the company has to pay for you, for your service. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, teacher yeah. I, I have an opinion. Um, yeah. I, I, I sound confused uh, also because uh, in my company, uh, the concept turnover is when uh, employees leave, right? Exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, for example, uh, we we tracked uh, so much uh, turnover cost. Uh, for example, in, in, my, in my job, we hiring many operators and then uh, we we assign uh, resources to uh, for them to learn uh, we we assign uh, I, I don't know how do you say we assignamos recursos resources 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 yes for example mechanic uh, trainer supervisor uh, Many resources to uh, to uh, operators learn in in performance, right? Uh, for example, a uh, 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 operator uh, the cost to to trainer operator uh, is around uh, two thousand dollars in three months. Only this three is the months. cost. This two months, yes. Two months. Oh, okay. Yes, th this is the cost to uh, performar operators. Yes, because we we pay supervisor, we pay mechanic, we pay uh, engineer, we pay uh, trainers, uh, other people that that give give them a service to operators too. Also, we pay uh, electricity. Uh, sorry, I, I don't remember how electricians. Electricians. Uh, rent uh, of buildings, uh, water, uh, a, a lot of uh, things. Yes. And, and, and when the operator designs uh, go uh, or, or leave, uh, the company uh, can be le uh, lost Compensate. money. Compensate. Yeah, of yes. course. Yes. They lose money because they, they need money. to find someone else as a replacement yes. and also that is, that is part of the turnover cost that the company yes. has to pay specifically for training new employees and also for those who leave they have to give a compensation yes the, the operator uh, leave uh, the experience or experience <laughs> exactly or knowledge or knowledge is or knowledge knowledge how do you say teacher knowledge knowledge knowledge, knowledge. Uh, the Take the knowledge. Yes, that that's why this this is related to the term. Uh, this is called employment um, an employment compensation for those who leave. They have to pay. The company has to pay. So that's what that's what we call turnover cost. Okay, and let's go with the last one that is the paid off. Uh, paid off. Oh, 
Okay, the paid off is the money given to someone, especially uh, a, an employee could be a, a special bribe or a reward for an special service or specifically on someone who leave a job. That's what we call paid off. For example, if you work extra hours or you have a better result in the company, the company can reward you with a bonus and that's what we call the paid off. They pay you the total amount or because you month, monthly or weekly, they pay you. And at the same time, this term can be used for those who leave a job and you have to pay off all the money. The final outcomes, right? That is what we call paid off. Okay, let's continue with the next part. Sorry, teacher. Is yes. the extra money that you have at the end of the month, for example, you 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 have your salary, yeah, you you yeah. earn a thousand dollars, and the extra hour that you do is it the payoff that the company have to to pay you the extra hour that you do in during the week or during the month? Is 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 the payoff the 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 word the meaning payoff is the the, the extra. Pay, paid off have different terms. It's a uh, general payment. When we call about paid off, is when they, they pay you in full. Could be for what you do in your job, could be for an extra hour, could be for a reward, or could be for leaving a job. So paid off is the general term uh -huh. to say that you receive money. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. That was saying in Spanish, like el pago, right? They give you a, a payment. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Now we go with the easiest of the topics, the pair conjunctions. Well, this is a pretty basic uh, grammar structures because we combine some uh, uh, coordinated conjunctions. For example, pair conjunctions come in pairs. That's what we call two words. Uh, such as not only in one part and the other one, but also, this is the first one, not only and but also, we use them to combine two sentences, two independent sentences. We can use not only and but also to make one sentence. We combine two independent sentences by this word. And also both and and. We can combine a sentence using both and and. Um, do you remember the fun boys like the for and nor but or yet and so? They are very similar because we can use the uh, the fun boys to uh, join sentences or join ideas. In that case, the preconjunctions are used to connect two clauses. What is the meaning about clauses? Sentences. The purpose about the per conjunction is to join, is to match two independent sentences and make them one sentence. That's why it says it combines or connect two sentences or clauses, phrases or words, as the term says. Don't forget this uh, idea. Connect two sentences to make one using the per conjunctions. And uh, they get their names from the fact that they always work. Both parts of the pair have to be used in different places. In a sentence, for them to make sense. Look at the examples used not only, but also. This is very simple. Look at this one. That's the one that I'm highlighting here. Um, not only, but also. Informal context to add more information as you connect two elements in a sentence. The purpose about the preconjunctions, not only and not only, uh, but also the purpose is to join two sentences and give us more information about the sentence. Look at the example. We talk about a scholarship. He get a scholarship. And also he got a sponsorship to finish his studies. If we used not only, but, but also, the sentence will be in this way. Not only he, did he get a scholarship, but also he got a sponsorship to finish his studies. Maybe they want two different sentences. He got a scholarship 
and he got a sponsorship to finish his study. We made one sentence joining not only, but also. And we have one specific sentence. Look at the next one. The company offered no only training sessions, but also a mentorship program. We can appreciate that the first part is the company offered training. And the second one, um, a, a mentorship program. So the purpose of this one is to add more ideas to the sentence. This is when we talk about not only, but also. We will see some other examples here. This is like the general chart. And the second one that we will study is both and and. It says that uh, we use both and to emphasize the link between two ideas. We emphasize a specific information between the two sentences. Both feedback and mentorship are important elements of professional development. We talk about feedback and we talk about me mentorships. We emphasize the feedback and the mentorships are the most important. How can we emphasize them? Using both and the combination with and. Look at the sentence B. Both new and experienced employees can join the training. So we understand that new and experienced empl employees can join the training, but we add both and and to emphasize the requirements to be part of the training. So you can check the next part of this one that says notice that the same grammatical form should follow each part of the pair conjunctions. Not only plus a sentence and then, but also plus the sentence. One sentence, second sentence. Not only plus noun phrased, but also plus noun phrased. And also we have both a noun and plus noun, both plus adjective and and plus adjective. We will see uh, more examples that can help you to um, have a clear idea about this both definitions. Look at this one. Okay, not only, but also is used to connect and emphasize two phrases or two words at the same position. Uh, parallelisms should be gold, should be the gold. I mean, to, to match the idea. And uh, we have the subject plus verb, plus not only, plus the adjective, because we emphasize the adjective, plus but also, and plus the adjective. The focus here, the adjective, handsome and intelligent. That's why the adjective is mentioned. He's not only handsome, but also intelligent. We could appreciate here in the sentence that we emphasize the adjectives, handsome and intelligent. And we match one sentence. He's not only handsome, but also intelligent. Look at the next example. He's not only poor, but also unemployed. A sad sentence, but you can check that we use the definitions about the adjectives poor and unemployed. And we combine not only, but also. Look at the next example. We have the subject plus the verb and not only. And now we use an adverb plus that also and an adverb. In the second sentence, we will emphasize adverbs. Look at the example. He speaks Spanish not only naturally, naturally is the adverb, but also fluently. So we combine to give an emphasis in the adverbs, naturally and fluently. And we combine not only, but also making one sentence and giving extra information to the sentence and emphasis in the subject. Look at the next one. The subject plus verb uh, plus not only plus noun, but also plus noun. Now we will focus on noun. I like not only cheesecake, 
but also cake. Okay, this person is giving an emphasis that likes the cheesecake and also the cake. Using in that case the noun. What is the noun? Cheesecake. What is the noun? Cake. Look at the next sentence. They visited not only Germany, but also Spanish. We are talking about nouns also, right? Um, not only Germany, but also Spanish. Giving an emphasis in not only and but also. And the subject, plus noun only, plus verb, but also plus verb. In this sentence, we will emphasize the verb. She's um, She not only danced extraordinarily, the dance is the verb, but also sing perfectly. So we emphasize that she danced, she dances and sings perfectly. Look at the next sentence. They not only speak French, but also English. We emphasized um, the verb, right? Speak French and also English. You can check the example here. Um, is that is that clear for you, this instructor? Yes, teacher is clear. Yes, teacher. Yes, right. So we had to follow the, the examples also can help us to reinforce. And also we have the both and refers to two things or people together. It all it is always considered plural in a sentence. Bo is paired with and to add emphasis to two coordinated elements in a sentence. Also, you can check the example. You can be both mother and businesswoman. So you can combine in the two things in the person. You can be mother and a businesswoman. So in, the, in that case, you can use both and and. Next example, both Alice and Susan have to comply with the rules. Both Alice and Susan have to comply with the rules. In that case, we are talking about both, two people, and and to emphasize. Next sentence, I used to like playing both football and basketball. So we combine both, football and basketball. That's why I use both, plus and when I was joined. Look at the next example. You can be both mother and businesswoman. Actually, is the same thing, right? So you can appreciate here that the most important thing is to, uh, to combine two things, to refer to two things or people together. That's the point. And um, most of the time it's considered plural in a sentence, right? In both is paired with and, and to add an emphasis to a specific word. So we have uh, some examples here using not only, but, but also in these sentences. And we have a couple of minutes to socialize this sentence. The, the purpose about this one is that you had to uh, rewrite the sentences using not only so I give you a, um, a couple of minutes before concluding. Remember that we will continue tomorrow working in these exercises, just to emphasize that one. Meanwhile, you work in this activity because I can help you to work with that. I will take the advantage to, to check the attendant list. You listen to your name and you say present. I will share also these sentences by, one second. Um, by WhatsApp in this case. One second. Okay, I'm showing you the, the sentences uh, in the chat. And uh, meanwhile, I will take advantage to check the attendance right now. 
Just give me one second and we'll check that. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Eh, Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Present. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present teacher. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Jose Bernardo López. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Jose Salvador Bernal. Present. Eh, eh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Eh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present. Eh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Uh, Kevin. Yes, Kevin first. Kevin Alfredo, okay, thank you. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Nelson Alberto. Uh, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present. Uh, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Uh, <clears throat> Cifredo Ernesto Gomez. Present. Eh, Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Eh, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Thank you. And also we mentioned to... One second. To Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Yes. Present teacher. Thank you. In Nelson. Okay, thanks, Nelson. Okay, that's right. Well, and um, I will share with you guys to uh, try to uh, formulate this statement as a practice. And also you can check the first sentences. We have one minute to share because of the time. And I will upload the, um, the video. Look at the sentences and I can, uh, because of the time, we're gonna try to emphasize the sentences. So please uh, just give me one second. Uh, look at this first example. The first sentence will be, there, there are problems not only with the children, but also with their parents. That will be the first one. The second sentence will be, he can not only make people laugh, but also make them cry. And the sentence number three, uh, she not only writes plays for television, but also acts in movies. That is uh, another possible way. The number four will be, I not only sent him many letters, but also tried to telephone him. That is another way. The number five is we visit our grandparents' house not only in summer, but also in winter. The number six is she can dance. Uh, she can not only dance, but also sing, sing. And the number seven is they need not only food, but also medicine. This is uh, the way how the sentences can be formed. And also you can also check that and uh, watch the video. And in the case of both and end, just to, I need to close here. And also this is another basic way to say, for example, I like both apples and oranges. The next one, she both skis and snowboards. And the next one, the man is both kind and generous. And the next one is the subway moves both fast and quietly. So we can check the sentences that maybe we can use in these structures. Okay, and the activity also, we're gonna complete uh, this one tomorrow early. This is the last exercise for concluding the class, but because of the time we need to finish and I just want to congratulate you guys for the work done. I like your English and I know that you will become very successful during this, cursed okay something else before, before concluding
If not, it's time to finish. See you later. Okay. Have a good night. Have a Thank good you. night. You too. Good night. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you. Good night. Congratulations for the work done, students. You are the best. Thank you.